It's a cold morning out here in Texas. The wind is blowing. We have a little bit of sleet falling outside, so I'm going to make up some warm treats for us this morning. I found a recipe on Facebook for something called cherry danishes, but they're cheating a little bit, so they're called cheater cherry danish. Um, we're going to start out by using the ingredients right down here. Um, I have two um, crescent rolls, one eight ounce of cream cheese. I've got that to room temperature. We have three quarter cups of sugar, a half teaspoon of almond extract, one can of cherry pie filling, and then for the glaze we'll use a half a cup of powdered sugar and a tablespoon of milk. So I already have the cream cheese at room temperature and I have the sugar put in there. I'm going to take my half teaspoon of almond extract right there. Man, that smells really good. And I'm going to quickly take this over here and beat it up. Looks like half of the USA is uh, going to be cold weather today. We'll have below freezing temperatures for the next, I think, five to six days. sure that that's nice and creamed together. Wow, it smells fabulous with that almond extract in there. Okay, so now what we do is we, I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees. Open up both of these and don't unroll them. Just put them onto a cutting board. And we're going to cut them into eight pieces. So I'm just going to cut them in half. Two, four. Put them in a 9 by 13 casserole dish. You can make a lot of different recipes out of simple crescent rolls. I love cherries. I should have gotten a few cans. I, I'm thinking I might also try some lemon pie filling, blueberry pie filling. Probably put all kinds of things in here. Now, what it says to do is to just use your thumb and press down in the center and you're going to get the base for our Danish Alright, 
Now, with a teaspoon, we're going to fill the little area we made with our thumb with the cream cheese filling. Fast, easy, use the filling of your choice. still have some left over, so I guess I can fill these up a little bit more. Okay. And now, just tasted that. That was really good. Just put a cherry or two. <clears throat> I'm just kind of tapping them down in there. I love cherries. Love lemon, love blueberry. I can see if this is successful trying all kinds of different flavors. You could probably open these up and also make uh, popovers. That'd be a nice idea. I think I'm getting two to three cherries on each one. I might be overfilling them, but what harm could it do? Besides making them probably a little bit messy. Oops, busted. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna put these in a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. <laughs> Wrong timer. <laughs> it's the easiest to use, that's why we use it. I don't know how to use the oven timer, so I use the microwave timer. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, we'll bring these out in 20 minutes. Be right back. Hey, look at that, you guys. Those look absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to eat every one of them. So, I did check them after 20 minutes and they were not done. So I put them in for three more minutes and we decided we'd give them three more. So in my oven, these had to cook for 26 minutes. But don't those look delicious? They are bubbly hot and they smell wonderful. Okay, so let me see, I need a spoon. So for the glaze, according to the directions, it says to put them on while it's still hot. I think it's gonna melt everything. What I think I'll do is I'll glaze them according to the directions while it's hot, but I may glaze them again after they cool off. So I just have a half a cup of powdered sugar. 
and it calls for one tablespoon of milk. You can always add more or less. Give it a stir. You can always add more. Seems about right. I think I will end up making a little bit more though. And we'll just simply go for it. mine. Extra dollop of icing. You know, I'm not going to have to make any more. I think this is going to be plenty. Yeah, I think so too. But aren't those beautiful? They're too hot to eat right now, so obviously I'm not going to do a taste test. That little bit made three giant tablespoons of icing. My, my, my. Okay, everybody, this looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to get that last maybe half a tablespoon out. Okay, so that was really easy. That was really quick. As soon as they cool off, we're going to come back and do a very quick taste test, but it looks marvelous. It smells great. Hope you guys are having a great day, but enjoy this great idea for a hot little snack on a cool day. cup of coffee. Let's get into these Danish. You said what you wanted this. Good for you, you. you said you wanted that one down here. I like this corner. <laughs> <laughs> he can return it twice. That's just like him. All right. Well, look at all that icing right there. That's even more than you drizzled down there. cherry wants to come off so I'm gonna hold it right on. No, just that one right next okay. to it. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna be that difficult. <laughs> well, it's still a little warm but I'm going to give it a try. Is the dough done? It is done. All right. Mm, that is really good. I love that almond. I'm sorry, right when you talked, I moved the oh, that's fine. 
They can hear me. The almond, I really love the almond flavor. That is very good. And that cream cheese. That uh, cherry cheese stain is very easy to make, very delicious. Ooh, we could put some shredded almonds on top, bake them. That's a great idea. Somebody out there, add some sliced almonds and then uh, show me. There you go. Great recipe, easy, quick, affordable. It's a cold day. Uh, it's a nice warm treat. Another success. Nice hot, cu hot cup of coffee. We're ready to roll. I already have my coffee, don't worry. All right, thanks for rolling with us, you guys. And if there's anybody out there that needs uh, any kind of prayer, uh, let us know. You know, there's a lot of COVID going around. I just had a few friends that passed away unexpectedly. Uh, you never know. So we're praying for all of our friends, families, neighbors, and acquaintances, and we pray for y'all every day. Thanks for following our little humble page, and thank you for a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. We hope you have a blessed day. Right now, I say let's all pray for world peace. World peace. And pray for one another. Make it a great day. Amen.